First up, we got a cold purple, y'all. I'm no doctor, but I think that means straight from the set of Grey's Anatomy, Kelly McCreary is here! Yes. Plus, we're gonna rob the cradle, and I don't mean with men. I mean, we're gonna show you how to use common baby products to amp up your beauty game. Yeah. Yeah. Cute, you know? I love that. And later, they signed up for marriage, and then they enlisted. From marriage boot camp, reality stars Heidi and Spencer and Selena and Kiwan are here, right? So look alive, people, we got a show to do. Yes, we all right. do. I love, do you guys know this is my favorite part? What? Yes, yeah. I'm Girl telling chat? you guys all my business. So I know okay. I'm not the only one. It can't be just me. You know when you're late mm -hmm. and you have like friends waiting for you? Ooh, this has happened with you guys. Oh. You guys will be like, girl, we at the restaurant. What do you want us to order you? I'm like, I'm pulling up right now, but I'm putting my lashes on at home. <laughs> I'm just saying. Has that not happened to anybody when else? You have yes. that, I'm like the queen of I'll be right there but I'm nowhere near no. there. I am so glad you're not in denial about how you yes. did I know, okay, you guys, it even happened to me this morning. Our producer hits us and she'll tell us, you know, your car is downstairs. So I'm like, I'm in it, emoji and everything. <laughs> and I get downstairs, cause I was in the elevator, I just wasn't there yet. And so I get downstairs and there's no car there. So now I have to hit her and be like, uh, the car's remember that here. car I said I was in? <laughs> I wasn't it's, in it. Not only am I not in it, but it's not here at all. So I got stuck and caught because I had to confess that there was no car there. How am I gonna get to work? You guys know I don't drive. So, but, I just wanna let you know, what? we all know your game, honey. <laughs> really, honestly. Yeah. Well, I think the whole world knows about this game yeah. because there is a meme that says it perfectly. Peeps be like, <laughs> I'm around the corner. Girl, you ain't even in this atmosphere. Oh my God. That's your, your ringtone. That's the picture that's coming up for your ringtone. That's yes. my picture? Between you and Vince, I'm doomed for disaster. Do you remember that time she was supposed to come meet us? Mm -hmm. That I'm like, Adrian, you know, your little okie doke does not work anymore because remember you used my phone for your Uber, you never logged out. So I know when you're in your <gasps> oh car. My yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. Girl, I'm on my way, I'm in the car, we stuck in traffic. I'm like, lies you tell, your Uber's outside. <laughs> what you talking Wait, about? That's oh, that's that's that we really have that that Wait, yes. you just, but you just keep it I keep in. it, because I, I got a buster, because you know, you never know. You could be sitting somewhere for 45 minutes to an hour waiting on her, or Vince, because he does the same so thing. So disrespectful. You well, know? Yes. Adrian, do you have a number? Like, you'll say, I'll be there in 10, or I'll be there in 15 all the time? I usually say 3.5 seconds. 3.5 oh, seconds? Oh, I'm right around that's the corner. That's like my go right around the corner. Yeah. My yeah. husband always uses 15, I'll be there in 15, but he's never there in 15. 15. So what I do is I just tack on another 15. So right. whenever he says, I'll be there in 15 <laughs> minutes, I'm like, babe, you'll be here in 30. Right. Yeah, <laughs> no yeah. worries. Yeah. I feel like everybody's time is precious. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? I don't have time for that. Yeah. Like, why are we doing well, that? Sometimes it's we so don't get caught. You know, sometimes you just get caught. Like, one time I was late to my friend's funeral. Wait. And <laughs> What? And I was running late. It was a funeral, and I was I was just How running late? late. What part late? They, it was over, right? <laughs> oh, oh no! My God. Bonnie. Yeah, it was. That's how late it was. Like over, but I made it to go to the. The burial. You know, the, yeah, the yes. burial part. But then when I did, because I felt so bad, I took out an old uh, parking ticket. This is true. I took out an old parking ticket. I said, like, I got a parking ticket, and he helped me for like 30 <gasps> minutes. And then the person Who are you grabbed telling the parking ticket and looked at the date. Oh. And so I got caught because it was See? the wrong date. Okay. You know, it was just, it's sometimes, I don't mean yes, to do right. it. It just, it just, it just happens. Just say, hey, don't be late. Bad. I feel like I can take yeah, it. Just be I'm honest. Wrong. Wait, wait, wait. So you can just, take it, but have, have some this, people can't. Has this happened to you guys? You have to go to a wedding. You know they're walking down the aisle at a certain time, but you miss that walk down the aisle. Never, So then no. you just <laughs> slide into the seat and you act like you That's like church every Sunday. You don't want right. to. You don't want to walk in when like everybody looks back. You know the door closes. Yes. That's like, worse. Who, who's walking in late to church? That is. So, it's so. See, that's how I got kicked off the usher board in church. Oh my, oh god. my god! I used to front people off because they come in late because I want to hear the word too, right? <laughs> but you can't. You gotta wait. Whenever somebody comes, you know once right. you close the doors, the doors, doors are supposed are closed. to be closed, right? Yes. They keep coming on in. I got my white gloves on. I'm like, wait, you <laughs> late? What's your? Oh my god. And they kicked me off us board number 12, okay? Oh, no. I can't, I can't. Yeah. So, uh, you're always on time, right? I feel like you're you are. early. She's she's early. early. I think out of all of us, she's, sometimes you're like 30 minutes early yeah. coming to work here. I hate being late. Oh, you hate? Yeah. Why? She's early. Why? 
What, what's the big it deal? It just drives like me you? crazy. You know, I just, I don't like it. But the last, I think you you tried to get me in trouble because but I you invited did. me over to your house. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what you did I don't. to me. You invited me over to your house. It had, we had a good time. And I was trying to stay up with you, right? Oh. You know? <laughs> First of all, you cooked them homemade dumplings. Oh, then we had cook. after drinks. Then you had, then you made me dessert. Then I was running around with um, Lolo, which that was the best part of the invite. But then I realized it was like 11.30 at night, and we had a few cocktails. I really wanted to stay over your house, but I had to go back to my house. You sure did. And you know what? She still... <laughs> <laughs> she still got up earlier than me. So I think she did it on purpose. I did it. She did. No, and you, out of all people, are supposed to know how to hold your liquor. So I, I don't know what you're I was trying to keep up with you. you know, I, can't stand, I can't stand when friends blame you for you getting drunk. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Like, be responsible no, for Tamar. yourself. I don't think Tamar, she was drunk at all. You are the queen of... Of, of turn of, up, of filling up the cup, of oh. filling yeah, up the cup, fill up the and cup, everybody Tay -tay. else is swaying like this. And for some reason, you're like, "What's wrong?" <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, girl, get your line. Are, we, are but, we amusing to you? No, nah, I'm just blue Jewish, and I have this black and Jewish liver that you know makes me, you know, hold on. <laughs> <up. laughs> you know, that's hold it on. Yeah, but I can't stand being late. And for me, being late is the major pet peeve of mine. <laughs> know. I'm here an hour. Early, every yes, day, every yes, day. Yes, Just true. to make sure I am not late. Like, what are some uh, pet peeves you have, Tam? Oh, you guys, my thing is when people overuse the word like. Oh. When they're like, I'm gonna go like to the movie and I'm gonna like see a romantic comedy. Mm -hmm. Like, do you want some popcorn? Oh, like, my God. like, really? That's so <laughs> annoying. But there is, there is one thing that two of y'all on at this table do all the okay. time, and I'm gonna call you out. Not me, don't look over here. You're one of them, Tay Tay. Oh man, what? And you, I... you're the other one. Oh, me, what is it? You guys, what is it? you guys have girlfriends that, you know, when you go out and you go out to dinner, and you say, you know what, I'm not gonna dress up, I'm just gonna be like casual, I'm not gonna wear any makeup, <laughs> and then to... they're like, yeah, 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 me too, it's not a big deal. I had dinner separately with both of these girls, and both of them dressed to the nines. They showed up like really fly, and I'm in a baseball cap and jeans looking crazy. <laughs> and a hoodie! Yes, that is one of my pet peeves. Well, Tam. Just be honest. No, I, I am honest, but you need to know about me, I never leave the house without makeup on because you never know who, who you're gonna run into. Yeah, but you but like don't say you're gonna be like, makeup. yes. You I, like I wasn't beat. full. I know I was not. I Kmar. wasn't. But you, I had on exactly what I said. I said I had on some jeans and a shirt and some boots. I yeah, could, but you put on jeans. That's for casual. Some it's not my fault. Like, like if they were heels. It was, you guys. It was not casual. Tamar looked like she was coming out of a music video, and this <laughs> one right here looked like you were you were walking on the red carpet. I, 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 and I, everybody I, said it. All the girls were like, "Jeannie, you said you were gonna dress down." I'm gonna tell everybody right here. It's my trick. Okay. Your jersey maxi dress. Boom. Done. You but look wait. like you care. It feels like pajamas. That's why but he sees that. It did not trick. look like pajamas. <laughs> you know, my pet peeve is when people use the restroom and don't wash their hands. Oh. Wash your hands. I hate, especially That's men. Worst. That's why I don't want to shake their hand. That's I'm like, nasty. Mm -hmm. my pet peeve, this is a very stupid one, but I don't know why it gets under my skin. People who don't close containers <laughs> properly when you eat or snack out of like chip bags. That's true. When That's you reach in true. and you're craving that Doritos and it's stale, and, it's stale. Stale. <laughs> and you get the Costco bags, you know, like the big ones that you know could have lasted you like at least a week. And it's done. Mom. I hate when people invite you to a party and they run out of liquor, all right? <laughs> oh. You know what I mean? It's like, then I gotta go back to the store. You yes. don't have that problem, but, yes. <laughs> you know, you it ain't it. no party no more yes. once the liquor run out, you know? Oh. It's just, do you guys, do your husbands and boyfriends have pet peeves about you? Well, you guys know I'm like an obsessive compulsive cleaner. Uh -huh. yes. You are too, though, Adrian, yeah, right? bad. So Adam hates it because I'm always cleaning. cleaning. He's like, I don't see anything. You're sweeping up, but I don't see anything. And I'm like, yes, do you see those four pieces of lint right there? He hates it. Now, you know what a, is another pet peeve of mine? And you know, out there, y'all my people, right? You go to the movies, and some of y'all start talking in the movies. That is true. Uh, we cannot the enjoy the movie. Well, don't go with me. Angelina, don't go in there, Angelina. <laughs> don't, I told her not to go in there, was she? <laughs> 
get caught up in being a mom that you forget to baby yourself. I know I do. So I want to let you in on a little secret. The best way to baby yourself is with your baby's products. Ooh. Let's get our beauty on, ladies. We are robbing the cradle. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're gonna show you these products and then demonstrate them on our lovely model. Hello, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hey, girl. <laughs> okay, up first, this is always in my bag. It's diaper rash cream. Thanks. Okay, not only does it help heal your baby's diaper rash, but it can also help get rid of blemishes just like zit cream. What? Really? Yes. Wow. Yes. Never knew that. So now, Ooh. okay, Mary, apply a little dab and you'll have gorgeous skin in no time. The magic ingredient in this cream is zinc oxide, and that's what zaps those zits away. Wow. You know what else this cream is good for, what ladies? Else? Sun protection. Shut up. Mm -hmm. You just Damn. put it on your nose. Oh, yeah. To prevent sunburn. Right? That's <laughs> <Three or one. laughs> <laughs> Multi purpose. Yeah. Multi purpose. Yes. Okay, yes. up next. When me and Lil Shaswani here, it's baby oil. Yes. Typically, it's used to treat some dry skin on our little babies. Mm -hmm. Hey, Shay Shay. <laughs> yes, but it can also remove a bandage without ripping off your hair. Yeah. Yes. Now, Pumpkin, rub a tiny bit around the bandage just to loosen it up from the skin. And watch this. It should come right off, huh? Yep, won't he do it? Ooh. But wait, wait, wait. She has That's more. more. Baby oil can easily loosen a tangled and knotted necklace too. Just mm. put a drop on it and the knot and pry it apart with a little safety pin or body pin, whatever you got. Voila. Yep. That, I need to try that. Okay, last up is baby powder. Now this was invented to obviously go on a baby's bottom to prevent diaper rash. Whoa, mm. that's a lot. Oh, sorry. Okay. Wow. Adrian. I'm clearly not a mother. Okay. At all. Okay. <laughs> but it can also thicken your lashes. Now, I'm serious. This is like a Hollywood trick. Check it out. Our model is dipping her eyeshadow brush into the baby powder and then applying it directly to her lash. Now, you follow that up with some mascara like she's doing right now and another layer of powder and mascara. Mm. So see, she's just putting it on there like that. Add That's another coat trick. of mascara. And the two coats give you that luscious, feathery look. Oh, you guys, I'm not lying. I actually, I actually learned this from a dope Hollywood yes. makeup artist. Really? And I've used it before. So no need to buy falsies, ladies. This is going to be a dramatic difference. Check this out. Let's see her before and after. Whoa. Wow. See? That's a major That's difference. Awesome. It is. Now she has some popping lashes. Isn't that amazing? That's mm -hmm. amazing, Adrian. Exactly. That's not it. I have another trick. What's the trick? Now, I know you guys have done this before. I sure have. In between shampoos, you know how your hair can get oily at the root yeah, and all yes. flat That's in like the weave and stuff. Yeah, in there too. <laughs> and it also gives a fresher smell as well. It can yes. absorb odor as well. So sprinkle a small amount of baby powder into your hands and then you massage it into the scalp. It actually can give volume and everything and it acts like dry shampoo. Mm -hmm. And that's that. Don't you like that? I love that. Our next guest has been making the rounds and shaking things up at Grace Sloan Memorial. Today, she's ready to dish all about her new Grey's Anatomy family and life in Shondaland. Please welcome Kelly McCreary. <laughs> You gotta go on over and spin the heel. Yeah, do it, do it. Here we go. We're gonna find out what you gotta do. Go okay, and see what it lands on. <laughs> what will be your last meal? Okay. Meal. okay. You look like you're in incredible shape, so you look like you yeah. eat really yes. healthy. Well, um, I have my indulgences, but one of them is not uh, gluten. I had to give up gluten a couple of years what? ago. Yes, oh, another really? gluten-free sister. Yeah. Free, uh, so good. Yes. Uh, oh my gosh, do you get Udi's bread? Yes. And breakaway-free, breakery. Yeah, that's not I've a never heard of that. Oh, so <laughs> okay. We, we don't find me a good gluten-free croissant. Oh. And uh, we can talk. Uh, because okay. I, that is what I miss most, like buttery croissants and like really mm -hmm. fudgy brownies and like oh. pizza. 
Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah, gl I gluten pizza. Good, yeah. Have you had a gluten-free donut? It'll oh you. my God. <laughs> Wait. All right, sorry. Well, you know, your character is all sorts of feisty on Grey's Anatomy. We love you on that show. You're yes. amazing. Yes. We heard that you were the one that managed to be quite sexy <laughs> to Sandra Oh in the first uh, shooting. <laughs> well, I yeah, I had um, auditioned for a character named Claudette because uh -huh. everything was very top secret. And so when I went in the very first day of shooting, Sandra had a, a prop and the prop was my resume and it said Dr. Margaret Pierce. And so, you know, in between takes, she addresses me as Dr. Margaret Pierce. And I'm like, uh, no, I think um, my name is Claudette. <gasps> oh, <laughs> no, oh yeah. she totally did. And then I was like, oh my God, I corrected Sandra. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Obviously, she's an expert. She knows things. Like, why would I do that? Well, life in Shondaland has to be full of surprises. So tell us about like rubbing elbows with say like Olivia Pope, because I die <laughs> for her. Like, well, tell us everything. Yeah, um, man, the, the scandal set the whole world yeah. over there. Is, it's pretty special. And I got to go into the offices of the OPA offices and it was like, <gasps> this is just badass. It's so mysterious. <laughs> It's like there's a sense of danger. You know, I got to play this very sort of mysterious and sexy character, and it was just like so much like darker and dirtier than than. Uh, was he sober? Grace. You know what? <laughs> I'm what? done with you. <laughs> we can edit that out. <laughs> oh my lord! Put your face in. <laughs> Okay. Well, I watch both of the shows, actually, and all work and no play makes for a very dull doctor. So is there someone special putting a smile on your face when you're it's not a pretty on the smile. Stage? Oh, thank you. Um, no, there is not. Really? What? what? There is not. I'm single. Are single really? as the day well, Girl, we can go out, okay? Okay, yes, can we That's please? Yeah. Do. You gotta hang out with oh, Bonnie. Bonnie, Bonnie is, is the one. Bonnie got to that guard over there. Okay. Really? Yes. Hey. Yeah. Okay. I'll get you a thing by the night, all right? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, so. Okay. 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 okay, so. Thirsty. As, Mer as Meredith's <laughs> half sister, yeah. Dr. Weber's long lost daughter. Wow. And you're like the new doctor on the block. You have a lot going on. Yeah. What do you love most about playing Dr. Maggie Pierce? <sighs> she's got so much heart and and she's so bright. I, I just I love this character and it's been really nice to watch the audience get on board. You know, I'm sure there was a lot of crossed arms, you know, when she first <laughs> appeared on the scene. But I was. I, I was welcoming <laughs> you with open arms. But I do love you on the show because, like, you stand up to everybody. You don't care who it is, to Meredith, to your daddy. It's just like, what? what you, I mean, what, what's, what's going on? I love it. Yes, Honey child, your character discovered that she was the missing piece to Meredith's puzzle. Yeah. So we want to make sure you're ready for whatever happens next on the show. So we've got one more puzzle for you to solve. You ready? <clears throat> okay. So we're splitting into two teams using puzzle pieces from the wagon over here. Each team must race to complete the picture on the screen. Okay. 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 Right there. Okay. Now, okay. let's play okay. the missing piece. Okay. Yes. All right, all right, all right, Miss Kelly. I'm going to need you to be on my team. Uh -huh. So it's me, Kelly, and Adrian. The and then team. whoever left over there. Okay. Oh, well, geez, Kay -Kay. Yeah. I'm just going to let you know I'm very good at puzzles. Lies. You are? Yes. OK, good, good. And we will not. see, good. honey child, all right? All right. OK. Because on the count of three, we're going to start. All Everybody right. ready? Okay. Yes. OK. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, okay. Wow. Y'all hate it. 
bizarre stories we can't help but share with you. Get ready because this isn't the five o'clock news. This is real news. <laughs> what you got, Munchkin? The Daily Mail reports that a busty Russian billboard on wheels allegedly caused over 500 traffic accidents in a single day. <laughs> 30 vans carrying billboard selling ad space featured a woman's bust covered by text that said, they attract. <laughs> While ba ba broom, they certainly did. Police allegedly received multiple complaints of the, of the distracting ads, so patrol cars were sent to ban the boobs from the streets. <laughs> Talk about busted. Oh, good one, Adrian. I have to say, though, they are pretty nice. They, they are, are, right? They when are. Them larger than life like that? But I wonder if most of those people who got into accidents were men. Oh, Probably. I'm sure they oh, were men. you know they pretty were. Pretty sure. Sure. OK. <laughs> Ever been sitting in church when your tummy growls? Uh, yeah. Well, imagine the scent of freshly cooked french fries from McDonald's at the same time. Mm -hmm. oh, and they smell good. According to the Washington Times, that's one wild group's goal. McMass launched a campaign to raise one million dollars to put a McDonald's franchise inside a church. <laughs> what? Their goal is to revolutionize how churches engage with the world. I will tell you, if I went to that church, I would get a filet fish with extra tartar sauce. Yes. That's a great idea. No, it is not. not. Why? Yes, it is. The Lord is answering my prayer. I know. Oh. Lonnie. Thank you. Oh. Always get hungry at church, you guys. I do oh, get hungry. hungry at church. And but you're not to break bread. But you're you not know supposed to eat in the sanctuary. You go Everybody know that. church to go you eat. You can eat in the basement. That's what I do yeah. all the time. I hang out with the kids and eat the kids How food. would that look, though, when the pastor's <laughs> preaching and everyone in the audience is I, 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 I just got a snack. No. I feel like it would look like really full people going, amen. Okay. They'd be happy. No. <laughs> I want to eat. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Okay. Next story. WZVN in Fort Myers, Florida, reports that a man in Florida was looking for love in all the wrong places and ended up in jail. Oh, Lord. Uh oh. Why? 45 year old Stephen Ramsey, look at him. Was allegedly <laughs> inebriated when he called 911 three times. The last of which he asked the operator on a for a date. What? Mm -hmm. Wait, Take a what? Listen. This the tape. What is your name? What's your name? My name is Sandy. Sandy, I'm Steve. Okay, Steve, how can I help you? Do you need the police? No. Okay. I don't need. I don't need any police. Do you need an ambulance? No, it was sweet. Uh, Looking for the day. Huh? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would call 911 looking for a date. That's not. That's not something you do. Uh, in the and what? No, no what? it even gets worse. He even asked her if she was in the handcuffs. What? Or, what? Yeah, Steven is kinky. I hear you, Steven. Uh, <laughs> that was crazy. Steven <laughs> was an idiot. Okay. 